The following New Energy Profile is sponsored by Remington. I think it's awesome to be able to compete against each other every day. Uh, you know, it pushes us to become better. We got involved with shooting as a, as a family tradition. Our dad had three girls and, and he was extremely passionate about shooting and hunting and so it was only natural for him to get his girls involved in the sport. To motivate us, our dad would give us a quarter for every time we hit the bullseye. And uh, we started out with little BB guns and tiny little compound bows and, and pretty much fell in love with the sport. Bobon uh, was kind of an accident for us. We didn't know what it was until uh, a guy had told us about it at a shooting event. And he saw us on the, the sidelines in between b shooting bouts, juggling a soccer ball, chugging Gatorade. And he's like, you, you girls are in the wrong sport. You need to try something more active. Biathlon is, is kind of a head-to-head -head sport, you know, a lot of action pack. You, you have uh, your skiing head-to-head -head against someone, and then you come into the shooting range, and then you're shooting against them. And it's, it's been kind of compared to running up a flight of stairs and then threading a needle. You know, we're shooting with our heart rate at above 180 beats per minute when we're racing, so it's, uh, it's exciting. When you put those together and the skiing goes really well and the shooting goes really well, there's no better feeling in the world. We both found ourselves uh, last January on the cusp of making our final Olympic team. And it just so happened that, uh, as luck would have it, I got a really bad illness right during the trials and skipped the first race in hopes that I'd, I'd recover enough. Um, woke up the next day way worse, but it was Olympic trials, so I had to go for it. Raced that race and, and uh, made it 10 times worse and ended up pretty much bedridden for the next week. And it was, it was tough, but um, you know, c sitting there in, in bed kind of watching your, your Olympic dream kind of slide away. But at the same time, watching your sister live her Olympic dream. They announced the team at the end of the week that she had made the 2014 Olympic team. And right after the announcement, she said, hey, Lanny, I want to go on a walk. And she looked at me and said, hey, I want you to go to Russia and race for me. I want you to have my spot on the 2014 Olympic team. And, you know, I, I was speechless. Usually as twins, we always know what the other one is thinking. And, and uh, this is the first time in my life where she actually caught me off guard. She was the clear choice next in line. She had been having an excellent year. And uh, so, yeah, sometimes people just have some bad luck and need a, need a second chance. And, you know, if, if you're one of those people that can give them a second chance, then yeah, go for it. The fact that she'd give up her <laughs> The fact that she'd give up her Olympic dream so that I could live mine, you know, that's amazing. I, I don't know that there's many people out there would, that would do something like that. I'll be working real hard the rest of my life to repay her for that opportunity she gave me. There's a lot of a lot of people that don't understand the the bond that twins have, and and uh, you know we'd do anything for each other, and and we're always going to be there for each other no matter what. I think a lot of people take for granted the freedoms that we have in the U.S. And having traveled all over the world, I can honestly say that we're the luckiest country and the luckiest people in the world. Yeah, we have a support base here in the U.S. that a lot of countries are, don't have and, and having that support to be able to compete and uh, you know, share your passion is something that, that we really enjoy and, and a lot of countries don't have that so we feel incredibly lucky to be able to do what we do. Shooting is one of those things that, that is incredibly rewarding. 
you know, as far as women uh, learning how to shoot, you just need to, to conquer your fears and, and uh, go out there and try it. There's programs within the NRA that, that can help you get involved and, and, and get you shooting and help you find the equipment you need and, and how to get set up. It's a lot of fun. It's very addicting. Uh, we love to shoot and, and uh, we'd like to see as many women out there as possible. There's not a woman I'd meet that shoots who isn't incredibly passionate about it. So, you know, share it with others. When you share competition with anyone, you're sharing the ups and the downs and, and all the aspects that come with it. And when you do share that with someone, then it really, you know, makes your relationship stronger. That was fun.